Good morning, my friends. Kevin the Comic Doctor coming to you with an AM edition of a comic, a CGC comic book box unboxing. CGC comic book box unboxing. Yeah, that's it. Whatever. Anyways, hey guys, welcome to uh, another unboxing. Finally, um, a couple more boxes here and more on the way. Good news. I just got off the phone with CGC and Frank's Magazine from last February. It's kind of funny. The day that I decide to call and say, what the hell's going on with this magazine that's been there for over a year, almost almost 14 months. What's up with that? Oh, it's actually being boxed as we speak. So apparently the longest standing order that I currently have in my files here is en route back to, well, will be en route back to Oshawa uh, at some point, uh, probably next week, I would think. Um, also got news of that ASM number one that I worked on. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I'll show it to you when it arrives next week as well. And uh, like I said, a couple of boxes here I want to get through. Um, one, well, there's about five or six different orders in here. Now, these guys here will not be ready for pickup until, well, you know what? Actually, I did organize them already. So if you if your books are in this in this lot and you want to come and pick them up, you can do so tomorrow, but you have to contact me as soon as possible today. Fry, don't call me. Don't text me at like midnight or tomorrow morning. I won't have them with me. They have to, I have to know like really soon. So anyways, guys. Oh, by the way, I didn't introduce myself. I'm Kevin the Comic Doctor. I'm a comic book presser and CGC authorized dealer located way up in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. And this is a very rare AM edition. So for any new people that are, have found their way here, hi, welcome. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, liking the content, hit that notification bell when I go live or when I upload videos, you'll be the first to know. Ignore that phone, it's going to ring. It's the AM, guys. Weird things are going to happen. Anyways, let's um, let's see what we got. I'm going to turn. Well, you know what? This one's got a lot of multiple books, so I'm not going to go through every single one. I'm going to show you straight off the bat. Uh, this is Calvin's. These are Calvin's books out of Brampton, I believe. And Calvin submitted a whole bunch of these Thor number ones and um. Here's a 9-8 copy right here, and I believe he received... I'll tell you how many 9-8s he got. How about that? He received one, two, three, four, five, six, six number eights, six eights, six 9-8s. Not bad, six nine. I think he submitted eight or nine of these. He got six 9-8s, and the other ones are, you know, up there, but not 9-8s. Uh, what else do we have here? He also submitted a couple of spawn number ones. One came back in oh sorry one spawn number one came back in nine six, uh, TMNT Adventures number one Canadian price variant one's an eight five, and another there's another one in here, uh, which came back in nine two which is not too bad sorry my mic's all over the place guys, let's see what else we have he also submitted a copy of Miss Marvel is that his. I think so. Miss Marvel number one in a 9.0. Right there. Oh, it's pretty dark. You know what? It's kind of dark in here. I have my window open, which is giving me enough light. So I'm not going to bother turning on the uh, the studio lights. I'll just let the natural light soak, so, you know, stream in here. Uh, what else we have? Also, he submitted uh, several copies of Invincible Iron Man number seven, and they did not give him 198, the highest grade being a 9.6. I'll move that over so you can see it. How about that right there? There we go. A 9.6. He also has, like I said, several more copies. We got a uh, another 9.6, a 9.4, a 9.6, and a 9.4. And that's it for Calvin's book so far. I believe Calvin has some economy books that are still at CGC in queue waiting to be um, sent out or graded and then sent out. Next, we have Derek's books. And Derek, I believe, is also from the toronto area no derek's in montreal i believe derek's a, a montreal client actually now that i think about it and so derek sent in several copies of this book right here amazing spider-man unlimited number one and i believe that's a nine eight another nine eight all all nine eights i believe yeah it looks like they're all nine eights he also sends in a copy of marvel spotlight one of my favorite covers 7.5, first appearance of Spider-Woman. That's pretty cool. Uh, oh, as well as... Oh, there's two more of those. Huh, and more and more of these Unlimited. 98 of those too. So a whole bunch of these. In nine, if, if anybody's looking for a Spider-Man Unlimited, uh, number one in a 98, 
give Derek a call because he's got a whole bunch of them here. All right, so there it is for, I think that's it for that box. Let me just double check. Yes, did that one, did that one, did that one. Yeah, that is it. Let me put some of Calvin's books back. And we'll go on to the next box. The next box has uh, some older books in there, which for those of you that are like your Silver Age goodness, you'll be getting some, have some fun with that one. So let me just uh, move the microphone out of the way. I'm going to turn the mute on for one sec. All right, another box. You know what? Before we go to the box, let's see who's in the house. We got 12 people here. Curious to see if we have any different faces here in the AM version of the show. Let's uh let's go over and to the chat woman really quick and see. Uh Dennis is already up. He's up in California. I see he's there. Let's see. Okay, why do I not have my Okay, hold on one sec, guys. There it is. Let me grab it again. There it is. Let's see who's here. Okay, so Dennis is here. Bernardo's here. How you doing, Bernardo? Jamer's here. Hey, Jamer, what's going on? Good talking to you yesterday. Uh, Rob Delaney, Dennis, 10 watching. It's way, it's way M in LA. That's right. Gilbert, hey, Gilbert, how's it going? Good morning to you, sir. Uh, Brad Kosky's here. How you doing? David Ross, good to see you. Luke's here, too. James from New Mexico is there. Uh, Dennis, it's the same camera I had the other night, but the lighting's slightly different because, uh, like I said, I don't have my... Stu I have my of a window right here and all this natural lights coming in and uh, the lights is uh it's a little more natural so it may look like a different camera but it's the same camera um ooh, uh, sunrise sunshine suckers you sure right you yeah, look at dennis you've got a lot of sunshine out there i'm very jealous if i could live anywhere in the world it'd probably be los angeles or california somewhere in california anyway, maybe not los angeles necessarily but somewhere in the uh in the california state i'd like to be who else is here? Neil Young can move back up there as far as we're concerned. <laughs> yeah, they've been saying Neil Young's made some enemies down in the United States. Hey, eh, Davey? Brad Kosky. I grew up in Huntington Park, Los Angeles. Missed the weather. I guess so. Golden Apple Comics. I drove by Golden Apple Comics a long time ago when I was visiting L.A. Uh, oh, Prince Zodiac's here. Neil, how's it going? Welcome to the weekend. Yes, it's our March break here. It's our spring break up in Canada. Well, up in Ontario anyways. I'm not sure about the rest of Canada. And... Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I've got today off. Today's the first day of our long of our long of long weekend, and then we go to a, for a whole week off. But the doctor ain't going to be taking time off. I'm going to be using that time at the shop and uh, try and do some catch up, playing some catch up with some of these books we've got here. And Prince Zodiac, another another uh, another nice um, uh, tip. Thank you again, Prince Zodiac. I certainly do appreciate that. It's very kind of you, sir. Uh, and, and Dennis loves the new lighting. I wish I could I could keep that lighting. Maybe I need to install some like nice lights over here where the window is because yeah i think it's a much more natural look and i look really scruffy that's for sure well today is a day guys i've been waiting three weeks for my my barber appointment so this might be well, i'll probably clean it up one more time and then she's gone until until winter of next year brad born and bred in la nice dennis a lot, a lot of pot of Sh san diego i'd like to get to san diego one day uh all right guys let's get to the next box here uh, if you're just getting here now, guys, I just finished uh, unboxing uh, a pretty much a modern box. Uh, a lot of duplicates in that box. Not so much in this one. Sit back, relax. Here we go. Let's see what's in this box here. All right. Um, now, I, did orga I organized these ones already. Because in case people want their books, I have them. So this one here is a 9-8 New Mutants 98. Awesome. This belongs to Mike. And I believe the thumbnail, let's have a look. What did my thumbnail have on it? Uh, let's go back to the thumbnail really quick. Did it have this on there? I think it did. Thumbnail right there. Yeah, it did. Thumb. Yeah, so the thumbnail, the thumbnail had ASM number, annual number one. And here it is. And it came back a 4.5. And that's for, uh, I believe, Mike out of Toronto. And Mike also has uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300 and a 9.2. And this is a uh, direct edition, as you can see right there. Next, who do we have? Let's see. We have... Do I have a name on there? Ah, uh, these... I don't need a name. I know who these belong. These belong to Rob out of Toronto. I've been waiting a while for these ones. Let me move 
these guys to a safer spot. And I'll, I'll start stacking Rob's books. I've been waiting a long time for these ones. All right, Rob. Here we go. Uh, Ninja Turtles, 9.4. That's number 11. We've got another Ninja Turtles, number 14, and a 9.2. Now, Rob had these books with me for a long time, and he was debating whether or not to send them in or not. And then he decided, he pulled the, decided to pull the trigger. And said, you know what? Just send them in. Just send them in. So I did some work on them, and we sent them in. Here's a number uh, 7 and a 9.0. All these Tim NT books uh, are going to continue, I think, to rise in, in, in value. So probably a good idea to get them done. Uh, here's a number 18 and a 9.2. We've got a She-Hulk number one and an 8.0, even in an 8.0 now. This book, you're looking at probably around, uh, probably 300 bucks, 3350. I could be wrong. It could be more than that. But yeah, even in an 8.0, the book is hot. Uh, X-Men, 244 in a 9.8. Now that's what I like to see. Nothing wrong with that. X-Men 109, first appearance of a Weapon Alpha or Guardian in a 7.5. X-Men number 103 and a, yeah, a 5.0. Yeah, you know, they, well, yeah, I guess a 5. They, they probably could have given this. Could have been anywhere from a 5 to a 6 in my opinion, but they went with a 5. Uh, X-Men 221, first Mr. Sinister in a 9.4. Right there. Good morning, anybody, all you new newcomers today. Uh, we're doing an AM edition of, uh, of a CGC unboxing. I don't have a name for this show. I'll probably call it one on I probably should make this the one-on-one -on -one show where I do CGC unboxing. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Uh, if you're wondering about what's in the press, it'll be back. Uh, I just got to get caught up a little bit first, guys, and then I'll start doing what's in the I'm having a hard time finding time to do these 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 live streams uh but they 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 will be back they'll be back i'll probably do a couple more this week and then uh when school starts back up probably just a, once or twice a week but you know uh as june rolls around as the spring goes by and the summer months come in then we'll start doing more shows again and i wouldn't mind doing some more shows from the actual shop as well here's a 9.6 of the exact same book If you're just getting here, guys, hit that like button. Do me a favor, guys. It doesn't hurt, doesn't cost anything, but it certainly does help my analytics here on YouTube. Look at that, a 9.6 of, of uh, 361, the first appearance of Carnage. Can't have a show without one of those. All right, what else we got here? A 9.6 as well of uh, 301, ASM 301. Another 301 and a 9.2. We'll be going back to the chat room in just a few minutes. Uh, again, if you have any questions about cleaning and pressing or comic book collecting or whatever, good time to ask that question. I'll spend some time answering any questions you might have. Here is a 298 and a uh, 9.6. And we're almost done Rob's books. Got a couple more, three more to go. He's got an Amazing Spider-Man 316. He's got a couple of those. Here's one in an 8.5. And then another one here, I believe, in a 9.0. Both direct editions. And then we've got, last but not least, an X-Men 137. This guy's been coming in a lot lately, too, and this one's in a 7.0. Thanks a lot there, Rob, for your submission. We got to talk about this one uh, and figure out a time for pickup as well. So uh, give me a holler, Rob, when you get time, okay? Uh, you know what? I'm going to put some of these books back in the box here to kind of balance out my table, my wobbly table. I don't like this wobbly table. I want to keep all of everyone's books together since I've already or usually after I do an unboxing the boxes sit for a couple of days before I have a chance to actually sort them this morning I got up and I sorted all all the boxes that I currently have here I contacted the the customers whose books are organized or whose orders are finished it's very disappointing if you guys are watching the show two nights ago I had a nice copy of Incred uh what is it? Uh, Invincible number one and uh, Daredevil number, or 
Yeah, Jitterville 7, and they belong to Martin out of Quebec. And I, I went to get them ready to ship out, and I looked at it closely, and they're, they look terrible, especially the Invincible. It had scuffs all over the front cover. And upon further examination, there was like actual debris, debris embedded on the inside of the slab, like I think on the, in the inner well. So I was pretty ticked off about that. I contacted CGC, and yeah, they said, send it back. So now I'm sending them back. And so poor Martin's going to wait now another God knows how long before he gets his books back. The only good thing about that is they've, they're covering the return shipping. Um, they'll actually cover the shipping there too, I believe. But I, I send so many books, it makes no difference. But they're going to cover the return shipping. So I put Martin's address on there. So they'll ship the books back to him directly, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, yeah. So anyways, let's keep going here. Uh, we got a copy of, oh, Paul. Coming for a drive or I'm going to be mailing these back to you. Paul M. Here we go. These Now, these are, are uh, books that Paul submitted through the Express tier. Express Modern tier. First one, Gwenpool 9.8. Guys, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're submitting books uh, through Modern uh, Express and you pay like the Express fee um, or the Fast Track fee, I should say, or if you're doing uh, Economy Fast Track, they, they give a, they, they say it cuts the time in half. It cuts the time way more than in half because these books were only sent out maybe a month and a bit ago and I got them back already. So these were all Paul's books. Got some nice grades on them. This one I was kind of disappointed with. I was hoping for a 9-8 on this one. Spider, Spider, Edge of the Spider-Verse at a 9.6. And then we have about three or four more. And the last ones are all quite nice because look at this, another 9.8 right here. Pretty, nice pretty book. And another 9.8. Not too bad. Really wish that lot spider grin came back in 9.8 form as well. That would have been a really nice treat. But these books, see these other ones you really want to have in 9.8. You know? Come on. There's still some value in a 9.6 in that spider gwen. These guys here really do maintain value if they're 9.8, you know? So that's nice to see. And there's one more, I believe. And that's it for these unboxings. Let's have a look here. Oh, no. This is an older book. This is his uh, Amazing Spider-Man 194 in an 8.0. Another huge book uh, that even in an 8.0 now, I think you're looking at close to, probably close to a grand, I would think. Unbelievable how that book went crazy. So, there you have it, guys. There is the second box. Another box is on the way. I think another couple of boxes are on the way by the sounds of it. I know that ASM number one is on its way back, as well as the as well as the uh, Hulk 181 that I sent in a couple of weeks back. It is also on its way back. The owner, I think, is going to be pleased, you know, um, and uh, we'll unbox those next week for sure. And uh, let's go back to the chat room and see who's here. Any more questions before I take off? I have to get off to the shop today, and I've got a lot of errands to run as well. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Where are we here? Where are we? Brad. Yes, yes. Okay, Brad. Dennis. Okay. I cleaned house and hunting. And Okay. Brad Kosky, X-Men are hot. They are hot. Jamar Mungan, New Mutant 98, and X-Men 224 in a 98 is absolutely awesome. It is. And I still think, guys, I still think the New Mutants 98 are sleeper books. I still think that book is a book to grab. Uh, the first uh, Deadpool, I think it's got room to grow. That's my own personal opinion. I'm going to start amassing those as quickly as I can. I want to get as many as I can. Um, although a lot of people are asking way too much for them right now. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. X-Men coming to Marvel, Dennis. You are right. You are right. Pop quiz. Name the island community of criminals where Wolverine got his eye patch. I don't know. What is it? She-Hulk on TV. Yeah, it's coming soon. Dennis Santia Corso Morto. Hey, Doc. Happy Friday. Cheers. Your Diet Coke. LOA. Yeah, thanks a lot, Big D. No Diet Coke for me. I'm drinking my breakfast. Look at this. Look at this lovely drink. I'm drinking my breakfast, guys. This is a... Um, What's it called? Vega? Vega? All one? It's actually pretty good. I've been able to drop about 15, 20 pounds just substituting one meal a day in my breakfast. I never like to eat breakfast anyway, so I take one of those. I feel great. So, yeah, not bad. But no more Diet Coke for this guy. 
Uh, now I got to cut out the pop completely because I, I moved over back to sugar again. Although I'm not drinking much of it, I still every every day I probably have one full Coke or ginger ale or whatever. Still not good for you. I want to get that rid of that completely. Huntington Park is where my friend Ty lives, south of Pasadena. Nice, Pasadena is nice. Nice, that's where Mr. Burnett lives, I believe, or used to live. Uh, Luke, what about that magazine? Yeah, I, I said the magazine's on its way back. That magazine from last February is on its way back. I got to contact Frank because he was going to come pick up his books tomorrow. I'm going to tell him not to. Tell him to hold off to next week because all of his books will now be back, which is great. Dennis, I am mistaken for street. Oh, you just jumped on me. A street person every day. That's not good, Dennis. What's going on? <laughs> I had a book I just purchased the other day, was drinking water and spilled the water, just missed the book. Thank goodness, Brad. Thank goodness. Yeah, liquids, comics, computers, no good. Can minor water soiling be removed? Yeah, Brad, it can be, but I don't get into it. I don't get into it. It's a long, tedious process, and it can even cause more problems, and so I just don't open that can of worms. That's my, that's my motto. But there are guys that'll do it. There are guys that'll do it. Yeah, now's the time to grab those NM98s. I believe it is, too. Uh, Rob moving right now as I type. Oh, is he really, Dennis? Is he staying in Pasadena, or is he moving somewhere else? Um, Danny uh, Grafe, uh, great video as always. Congrats to everyone that got grades they wanted or better. That is for sure. It is great to see. I love to see those nine eights, man. I love to see those nine eights, especially on those modern books. Uh, did they just forget about it? Uh, they didn't say. They don't say nothing, Luke. I, I called. I said, so lucky I phoned today. And they are just like, yeah, well, it's getting done. So whatever. I mean... No, it's just magazines. They did. They put. They put the magazines on the back burner, pretty much. If they're not like the higher grade, higher end ones, they just put them on the back burner, as you see, and you wait many, many days. Now, Luke, you also said something about a hundred books. We're, we're, I think I jumped by one of your comments there. Oh, greetings from Michigan, Jack. How are you doing, Jack B? I, I missed a bunch of people here. Jack B, how you doing? Thanks for coming by. Uh, who else? Did I miss anybody else? I feel bad if I did. Oh, anyone drop off a hundred books yet? Oh, three B man. Yes, Luke. Yeah, they do. <laughs> Believe me, if I said if I said to certain people, drop off as many books as you want right now, they would drop off. They'd probably have they'd probably drop off two, three, four hundred books. I'm not even joking, Luke. It's it's that crazy. But they know I can't handle that right now, and so they don't. Otherwise, they have to wait and wait and wait and wait. They're just better off to drop off in in, in smaller and in smaller batches. Um, hopefully, hopefully, I'll get to the point where. I can just work on, you know, if someone comes over and says, here's 100 books, I can just start working on them right away. I hope I get to that point soon, but right now I'm not quite there. Prince Zodiac, another tip. Gee, Leo, thanks a lot, man. Don't have a good day. Have a great day. Thanks, Doc. Prince, you're very well. Thank you. You too. Have a fantastic day um, as well. Wonderful to see you. Uh, wonderful to see all of you. Uh, Rob is moving to the San Bernard Bernardino foothills. Is that... Is that far from Pasadena, Dennis? I have no idea. That's great. San Bernardino foothill, foothills, foot. Is that what it is? Foothills, foothills. I think it's foothills. You meant, yeah. Uh, backward. It's okay. Yeah. Listen, guys. Thank you so much for coming by for this AM edition of What's in the Press. Uh, I can see a lot of you already taken off, so I'm going to do the exact same thing. It was a quick little stream. And um, yeah, man. Uh, thanks again. If uh, I'll try to put another another video up in the next little while, uh, hopefully early next week. Maybe over the weekend I'll do a little something. I don't know. We'll see. Until then, my friends, you take care. Thanks very much. If you, again, if you like looking at uh, CGC books and checking out unboxings, this is the place for you. I certainly hope you'll consider subscribing to the channel, liking the content and all that jazz. I'm about 150 subscribers away from 1,500 subscribers. When I do get to that momentous occasion, I will be... Uh, having a draw for a $250 gift certificate. That's the biggest gift certificate I've given out on the show. And that can be used towards pressing, cleaning, all that jazz. Um, a great way to start your uh, pressing and cleaning journey if you haven't done so already. Uh, oh, some people, have, what, what's going on? Oh, Prince Zodiac. Oh, come on now. Really? Very generous. Very, very generous of you. My goodness. Hold on one sec. Where'd my, where'd my stream go? As my dogs bark. Let's see here. Brad, take it easy, Brad. Um, an hour east of Pasadena. One hour. Wow, it's quite a ways. Can you read a question about my Moon Knight submission, please? Can you read a question about my Moon Knight submission, please? 
out of my busing range. All you take care. Brad, take it easy. Uh, Prince Zodiac, did you just mail it to where I will read it right now. Where is it? Let me check. Um, hold on. Let me see if it's on here. Let me see if I can find it for you. Um, hold on one sec. Let's see if I can find your question. I will, Neil. Let's see. Where is your last question to me? Neil, I can't seem to find it. Why don't you just ask that question right now, Neil, and I will answer it. Can you read question about my Moon Knight submission, please? I'm not sure. I can't seem to find it. Let's see here. Inbox. Is it on my email? Where did you send it to? And I'll be happy to answer your question. Oh, it's up there. Okay. I'll go back and look. <laughs> One sec. Uh, of course, I'll read your question. And answer your question whenever I find your, uh, my, I keep seeming, there it is. Okay, hold on. Where did it go? Can you read question? Ha, where did it go? Oh, oh I'm so sorry. I, I went right by. I skipped through a, a bunch of people's Deadpool. Definitely, yes. People are asking. Look at that. Oh, I missed a whole bunch. I'm so sorry. Sometimes what happens, I've heard other streamers do this too, is when you got chats, they, they bounce up and they, they pop up and you miss them sometimes. Uh, so Prince Zodiac says, hey, Doc, I have a Moon Knight submission that should be arriving anytime. Is it possible to put a fast track on them, even though the invoice is made and they're on the way to you? Now, Prince Zodiac, do you mean you want me to put a fast track with the CGC? And did you use your own account? That's what I need to know. If you're using your own CGC account and you did not add fast track to it, you're going to have to create a new submission form. And that's no problem. Just go and create a new submission form and send me the PDF and I'll print it out and you can have the fast track on your comics. Does that answer your question? You can't, I can't, I can't add it after the form has been made. But, but if you don't send, if you create a, a CGC submission form and don't send the form in, they don't charge you. It just, it just goes away. It's like with FedEx. If I create FedEx uh, shipping labels and I don't use the shipping labels, they don't charge me. Not like this. You see this? This is ridiculous. I created a shipping label through Canada Post and I didn't end up using it. It was like for 20 bucks and I never used it and I got charged. And so the only way I can get my money back is I got to jump through so many hoops to get my 20 bucks back. I don't even bother. Um, but with FedEx, they don't charge you. If you create a label and don't use it, you just you just don't get charged. So Fed, so CGC is the exact same way. You can create a thousand book submission form. when they don't If they don't receive the books, they don't charge you. So... Um, How about Kev's breakfast? Bernardo Garcia. Great show. So thanks, Bernardo. Kind of haphazard, crazy AM show. Um, Dennis Mason. When going vegan, always go organic and fresh and ripe when possible. I'm not going vegan, man. There's no way I'll go. This is a this is a vegan shape. I know that, but I'm not going vegan. I like my meat too much. But these are pretty damn good. I, I've grown to like these. And I feel great in the mornings now, which is great because I never used to. Waking up with headaches all the time. Those days are done, it seems. Um, 3B Man. Hey, Doc, I have a Moon Knight submission that uh, should be arriving anytime. Is it possible to put a fast track? Okay, what's going on here? I didn't... Re I was... Ni oh. Did 3B Man repeat... <laughs> 3B Man copy and pasted your submission, your uh, uh, your thing for you there, Neil. Thanks. Thanks, Luke. Uh, P. Bales. It's above his first... Yeah, I got that. Thanks, guys. Uh, Prince, yes. No, through me? Okay, yeah. So, even better. So, when I create the submission for me, I'll certainly put in Fast Track. What you might want to do, is you're, the thing is, Neil, you're a regular here. I see you here all the time. So, when you see your books finally come up or that, when, you're, when your books are kind of getting closer and we know that it's getting closer, just remind me again that, that you want me to put uh, the um, Fast Track on that. And I will. When I organize your books, if I remember, I will jot it down on it. So I will, I will certainly do that because it, it will bring your, bo your books back a lot quicker. Dennis, does anybody counterfeit CGC sticker? I don't think so. Uh, better than coffee, whatever his breakfast. Yeah, no, I don't even. I don't drink coffee, guys. The one thing I don't do, I don't drink coffee. I don't drink booze. 
I don't drink alcohol. I, I just don't, I don't like alcohol. I've never drank alcohol. I mean, as a kid, I guess I used to, you know, go like this and drink a beer or whatever, but I just don't like the flavor of it. Um, so my only real vice in my, in my life has been, I was a smoker for a long time. I quit that about, you know, when Jack was born or before Jack was born, I should say. So I've been, I've been clean of cigarettes for about 11, 12 years now, completely clean of cigarettes, but that was it. That and diet Coke and sugar. Those are my big baddies, but I don't, I don't like, I don't smoke anything now and I don't drink anything now. And I'm a sugar guy. It's a film of foodie. That's my problem. And no coffee either. I don't, I don't dig on coffee. I don't like that bitter taste. Anyways, I think I'm boring everybody with my dietary um, preferences. So with that, my friends, I am going to take off now. I do have a lot to get done today. Again, thanks for popping by. All the best to you and yours. And have a great weekend. I hope to see you very soon. And again, if you haven't done this already, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time, bye for now.